So, I'm in the market for a new car. So we're out test driving some at our friend Dennis's house. And uh, this is a 1920-something uh, Ford Model T. We're still close enough he heard that. <laughs> Where's the start? Dennis, I broke your car. <laughs> <laughs> Made it about 150 feet. He killed it coming out of reverse. I stalled it when I went to stop backing up. Ah. Because I, I, I thought I was still in the neutral, but I was in the all the way. Oh, I forgot to show you how to start it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's... <laughs> I'm glad this happened here, not down the road. Yeah. Okay, starter button. Yeah. No. This direction. Okay. And then... That was way easier. Okay. Yeah, I was backing up and I thought I was still in the neutral where I didn't have to ah. put in the midpoint, but I was all the way down, so I didn't put this foot in the middle when I hit the brake and just stall. Okay, we'll edit out the part where I'm pissing over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're in low gear. I learned a lesson. <laughs> We're in low gear now, we got a hand throttle, and I have to hold my foot to the floor on this pedal to stay in low gear. And we gotta make sure we're not, the car's coming. Okay. And we're off. So, we go into high gear here, we let off the throttle, take our foot off, get back in the throttle, and we're in high gear. Oh, check that out, that's so cool. I'm saying that like I know what I'm doing, but I just learned this five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then now, this is our hand throttle, we've got a spark advance here. Look at that, spark advance, you feel that difference? It smooths out a lot. It makes a big difference. Now, the scary thing about this car is, I'm not touching throttle, I'm not touching pedals, and it's just going. You take your foot on, hands off everything, it doesn't like go back to idle like a modern car. It stays driving. So if I just like jumped out, it's gonna stay going. You have to like physically make it slow down and stop. But throttle down, throttle up. There's a brake pedal that kind of works a little bit. The way that they explained the brakes was not exactly confidence inspired. Well, I got zero confidence in the brakes. Well, in my ability to operate the brakes. I've seen them make it. Okay, so we gotta slow down up here. Okay. So we're in high gear on this pedal over here. So we're gonna idle it down. We're gonna use our brake to slow our speed down until we get down about idle there. And then we stop this to the floor. And now we're oh, down here. And now we can give our throttle back. So we bring our spark advance down just a little. So we lowered our throttle. And the most terrifying thing ever is happening. There's another car coming and I don't know what to do. So, we're gonna go over here and idle. We're gonna bring our foot to the middle position, which should be uh, neutral. Yep, and we get some throttle. Neutral. Brake. Reverse. Oh, Casey! <laughs> it's a good thing Dennis told me how to start this. Yes. Okay, little throttle, bring your spark advance down, or battery. <laughs> God, there you go, much better than the last time we did that. Okay, look at the views they have out here. I know. That mountain, that mountain. Check it, it's seriously gorgeous out here. Yeah. So, we could put this into our neutral position. And now I've got, I can back up, brake to stop, and throttle down. Okay. Foot on the pedal to hold it in the neutral position. Release our brake completely. Off the brake, all the way down. And you just get on it and go, that way you don't burn up the van. So, give her a throttle. Now we back off the throttle, take our foot off, and get back in the throttle. And now we're in highway gear. At 20 miles an hour. So, we're going to give a little spark advance. This thing is so freaking cool. <laughs> so, 
so cool. And the scenery, I know you said it earlier, but like, cool out here. it is... We're a hundred year old car. A hundred year old car, I'm visiting this. Like, yeah. How much cooler does it get? I don't think it gets any cooler. I mean, it could be, it could be snowing. That'd be cool, right? Maybe not. That's good, but they got tire chains. Yeah. Also, we have uh, magic hats. Yeah, we got goggles <laughs> if you need it against windy. Yes. Ah, uh, there we go. This is appropriate. What do you think, Casey? Is this a uh, good use of resources? <laughs> I need one of these so bad. I think you do too. Okay, we gotta get on the brake. What's that? We have a heavy duty tow we're supposed to be doing. That's why they have erectors sitting in here. But uh, that can wait. This is important stuff, Casey. I'm not too worried about that right now. I know something that the viewers don't know, and this is this is gonna be important for later on. This is so freaking cool. I've never been in a car this old before. Is this the oldest thing you've ever driven? Driven, yes. I, I rode in Jim's car before when we did the recovery. And look, he got the next one out for us to drive. I'll check it out. This is the pickup. We're back. Hey. Oh, I was leaving my foot too far on it. I get it. So now we can go. Yeah. Because once you pull the brake back, you take your foot completely off of the pedal. Okay. Once you pull the brake back, you take your foot completely off the pedal. Yeah. I was riding on a little too hard, so that's why I stalled it right there. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I get it now. That makes that, all, that, that makes way more sense to me than I thought okay. it would. So, did you ride, drive? I did not drive. Well, yeah. Do you think you're you, getting You drive. Like oh, that. come on. I don't want to break your car. <laughs> now Ethan's going to try it out. I made it farther than that. Okay. So I just learned lesson number one about the Model A. The glass has a lot of movement to it. So if you put your fingers right here and shut the door with it, it smashes the shit out of your that's fingers. What this is for. Oh, but that's oh. for holding on to it to close the door. You didn't tell me that. I took my driving test in this thing for my driver's license, and the guy said, "Oh, got to have." What year is this? Uh, Twenty-eight. What year are you? Uh, year I? I'm a fifty-five. <laughs> The guy says, oh, we can't, there's no inside door handle. So I reached over and I opened That's the inside door handle. But there was no windows in it. And I think it kept. Finally, I said, well, he kept picking it apart. And I finally said, do you want to ride or not? He said to the driving instructor? Yeah. And he gave you your license? Yeah. Probably just so you didn't have to come back. Well, the, uh, oh, this one has a gas gauge. Yes. Check out this float gas gauge. And when you, when you fill it up, you can see the gas inside there. Well, your, fuel, your fuel tank is right here. Yeah, yeah, that that is the fuel tank. So that, oh, so you're just seeing the gas from that tank. Yeah, if if it leaks, it you know if that leaks, you get gas all over everything. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I love how sketchy these cars are. That's okay. my favorite part. Well, underneath here is a gas valve. You make sure that the gas is turned on, and then this is your you rich in the the uh, carburetor and then pull the choke out. This is why people are so friendly back in the day. They really got to know each other. Yeah. 
Well, that, that's when one one of the one of the, the fellow's wives one time said these old cars sure promote closeness, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> and then up here is the, the starter, starter pedal. Button. Yeah. Okay. Just Watch out. Not my toes. So it is the next day, and uh, we went to go do the job after we left uh, uh, up there with the T bumps, and we drove what two hours south? Yeah, give or take. Two hours south to go do the heavy duty tow we had to go do, and we get there. And there's another tow truck hooking up to the truck we're supposed to be hooking up to. So. Uh, we didn't get that job, but we still got paid for it because I got the credit card number before we left to go down there. So, still charging for the trip, still made money, didn't even tell anything. And uh, now the next day, uh, Ethan is working on his paperweight because I am doing some online shopping. <laughs> now that I know the two types of, the, the difference between the Model T and the Model A and what I was worried about with like learning to drive the Model T and their very different setup, uh, we're doing some shopping. and. Ethan's working on his cruiser here, changing out some springs, I think is what he's doing, because... Yeah, changing the springs. It's all yeah. saggy in the ass over here, so... No, it's, it's not saggy, it's the opposite. It's too perky. Too perky? It's got too big <laughs> no of a such thing. <laughs> so, uh, he's doing that because we're going to go look at a couple of them here in just a bit. And uh, we got to kill some time first, so... Toyota things. Yep. Oh, and we're doing this here because Ethan didn't have a big enough jack to lift this thing up high enough at home, and I, I did. Oh man! So, so you have a garage that your Land Cruiser won't fit in, and I have a garage that my trucks won't fit in. Our trucks are too big for our garages, Casey. Yep. But if we combine forces, we can probably make this work. Oh, so you want to pay for half my new shop? Cool. No. no. Yeah. All right. Deal. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> How much down do you want? Uh, how much can you give me? Like to the, all the way? Yeah, all the way. Okay. Okay, I'm off of it. Oh, you fix. I'll uh, pull this forward so that you can turn around. Cool. I will reinstall my chocolaters. You know, this is just a continuation of our Zach lift everything yeah. theme we got going on here. Turn it around, do the other side. Ah, oh, poor Toyota can't go any farther. So it's later in the day. We went and looked at two Model Ts. One is a definite maybe and one's an absolute no. Both of them need a good bit of time in the shop before they're drivable and usable. And uh, where is he going? <laughs> Uh, whatever. Um, both need a good bit of time in the shop before they're drivable, usable, runnable, all that. One, I knew very much ahead of time, and it's actually in much better shape and much better condition than the owner told me and explained to me it was, which is always awesome. The other... I can't see a thing out of these mirrors. Huh? I can't see a damn thing out of these mirrors. You just got to go by feel. You just got to know where your trailer is and just feel it in your heart and back on up into place. Heart yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Don't don't mix trailers and exactly. Always an excuse. Either way, the other one we were told, man, it's it's ready to go. Maybe needs the gas tank flushed and the carb a little clean, ready to drive. Far from it. That one needs a lot of shop time. So that one was a definite no. We're still kind of on the definite maybe. And we're still definitely in the hunt for a Model T. So uh, while we wait, you're probably wondering why there's a horse trailer hanging in the air from a Zach lift. Uh, that's because we're taking out the trash. So we couldn't work on Model T's. So instead, I'm teaching Ethan how to take out the trash Casey style. And I have this, this horse trailer that we used here to uh, rescue a pig. There was a video a while back where Grumpy and I uh, used this horse trailer to go rescue a pig named Maybelline, who unfortunately couldn't stay at her home anymore and had to go to a new home. I got it, this, bought this horse trailer. We went and towed a pig. And then since I've had nothing to do with this horse trailer, so uh, I park it here kind of by the house, not too close because it smells, and uh, use it. That's what I just put all my trash in until it fills up. And then once it's full, we just dump it 
into the dump trailer along with other trash from the shop from the garage from any yard products all like that that we accumulate in there and then we take it all to the the dump and dump it and uh, a lot of people say well, why don't you just take it in the horse trailer well i can't do this at the dump with the horse trailer i'm too lazy to unload it by hand um why don't we just throw everything in the dump trailer well then my dump trailer is tied up with garbage instead of using it for dump trailer stuff in between so my solution is put it in the horse trailer dump it into the dump trailer when it comes time it's like once a month once probably once every two months actually uh, actually no I think it's been close to three months so either way yeah that's what we're doing now Ethan's back in under here and we'll dump it in by the way I had Ethan rig all this up and run it to get it from over where it was spun sliders underneath there and lift it in the air and put right here he did he did all this he's in training Just, just just don't scratch my truck with my truck or my trailer with my trailer or, this truck or my truck with my truck you've got like you've got cascade heavy rescue in a nutshell right here <laughs> just ripe for the destroying oh yeah that's perfect don't scratch my wheel Come on! Don't be scared! Says, don't be scared. It's exactly the time I want to be scared. <laughs> what? Are well, you going to take a dump or what, dude? You missed it? Oh, by like a gnat's ass. Yeah. Well, what, are, you gonna miss, really? are you going to miss this one too? Uh, probably not. Okay, well, try. All right. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Wheel chop, you're done. Call it good. And you have to go down on the back. If you do it before those tires come out of the deal there, it's gonna help you out a lot. And then you don't wanna hit the doors in the bottom down there. Yeah, here, that's the problem. You can cable in on blue a little bit. Okay. You got room there. Down, down on yellow. In on blue. In on blue, down on yellow. Grumpy's gonna come over. Yeah, Grump, Grumpy's coming over to judge us. I'm gonna get judged to the max. Yep. Well, what are your thoughts on this, Grumpy? Uh, I think you've got a problem here. <laughs> you look like you've been doing some drywall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm teaching Ethan how to run the Zach lift. The what? I'm teaching Ethan how to run the Zach lift. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Well, higher, Ethan. <laughs> Pull the truck trailer forward. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That Hold up there. Now we gotta shake a little more out. Okay, now we're pretty well emptied out. Pick up the back end. Okay. Grumpy gave up and left. He said. Now stop. Look at what's happening. Gotta get around, get because you're different. holding the front end up here yeah that middle portion is going up too okay so you're gonna have to drop the front as you pick the back so you don't lift it right into the bottom of the boom gotcha. yeah that corner right there is what you got to watch and we are up against the side of the underreach with the side of all the tires but that's fine okay oh. 
if we do it like this. Turn it down a little bit. Go down a little. All the way out. This thing's pretty nifty, Casey. Yep. Now you can get that trailer all the way out from under it. Sounds good. Uh, where would you like it? You just pull straight up ahead. Okay. Because we can bring this all the way back over here. I'm good. Here, hold this. I'm not qualified to run this. You said you're a man. There. Trailer's out of the way. You can bring that down. We can move it back over here. Spin it back straight and put it in place. See? Training. Does anyone in this central Oregon area have a bus? that doesn't run or something like that that they want to get rid of. Because I'm looking for one to do training practice with, to flip over, stand back up different ways. Ethan can figure out how to do it and then learn the different rigging because there's like 10 different ways you could do it. More than that. Yeah. You need a bus for flipping over purposes yeah, and practicing. Because buses hold up really well so you can do it over and over and over again. So. All right, should I put your uh, outriggers down? Uh, you should level that out level and that. bring it down closer to the ground and then put outriggers down. And then if you boom down, you'll get away from that underreach. There you go. The more you come down, the more it'll walk away from that underreach. Yeah. Okay, that's probably good. Nice. Go ahead and pull the outriggers up. Slowly. Careful. Make sure there's nothing leaning on the truck before you do, because if it's yeah. sitting like here, it'll yeah, mangle all that up. Yeah. Yeah. Or, so or this, I'll take this. It wasn't in a spot where it was going to do anything bad, but it's just something to keep in mind. Don't drop it. Careful. Easy. No pressure. That'll void my warranty. I got a shirt on that. Okay. You're floating, so you can pull them up now. Okay. Right, you know how to drive this thing, so. You don't want to drive it? I've never driven uh, a semi truck before. Get in. Alright, fine. Hey, I'm glad the Blazer's next to, uh, next to this and not my truck. I know. A vehicle can actually take a hit, not that tuna can Toyota you drive. <laughs> okay. Do I have... Oh yeah, okay. So now all the way towards you and up is reverse, where first gear would be in a lot of vehicles. Now hold it against it and slightly let out the clutch and it'll pop in. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, now you so, can back up. All right. And back the trailer into where it's supposed to go. Don't... Uh, one thing though, if the truck is moving, do not ever push the clutch all the way to the floor or you'll destroy the clutch brake. Okay. Because there's the bottom inch or so of the clutch pedal is a brake inside the transmission that stops all the gear set of the okay. transmission from spinning. That way it can go into gear without grinding. But if you're moving and you push all that way down, gotcha. it'll... So should I just let all the way out of the clutch? If you oh. want to go backwards really fast, Oh, I don't sure. want to go backwards really it. fast. Um, this is your truck, remember? So the clutch has a whole like neutral position, kind of like the, the Model T we just drove. Okay, where yeah. There's a bottom function and an upper function. When you get all the way out, it starts letting out the clutch and engaging. Okay. And you push in the clutch and you have a good bit of free play where there's, you're in neutral essentially clutches in, sure. but you're not on that brake that's at the bottom. Gotcha. So, so there's a brake at the bottom, but if I let off on the main brake, I'm gonna start to roll anyways. Yeah, so don't ever, if the truck is moving at all, do not have your foot all the way on the bottom of the brake. So bring your foot out like an inch. So this clutch, think of it as four positions. Yeah. At the top, you have about an inch and a half of complete free before it does anything. Sure. That, you can push that in, that total free, and it shuts off the jake brake, so you can shift okay. with the jake on, and it won't let the jake engage. Okay. And then you have your clutch portion, that is your normal vehicle's sure. clutch. Okay. And then that in-between portion is you're in neutral, and then the bottom is the clutch brake that stops the transmission I'm from spinning. I'm swinging this thing hard. I know, because we're bouncing back. I know. Forth. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, Casey. I guess the first time I had you drive a truck should not have been with a trailer yes, hanging from you a boom. We do this with a so trailer hanging from a boom so in midair back behind us. Back brand new Zach lift. 
You're just gonna hit the underreach. That's what it's made for. Well, yeah, but still, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm not feeling super confident turn, in this. Turn towards me and back up. Okay. Just re repositioning my foot on the clutch. See, see how much free room you have down yeah, in there to stop in, and you're okay. You're you're not engaged, but you're far away from the clutch brake. Gotcha. You've got all that room to work with. There's no need to be down at the bottom of it. Got it. Yeah, I had. I didn't even know it was there. I had zero. Yeah. Zero. I mean, I probably could have explained that, but you probably could have. Yeah. Um, but. Okay. Now straight. Okay, your way. We'll swing it back kind of into place. Yeah. Okay, now straight, I think right thereabouts. Right there, good. Uh, Is that what you want it? That should work. Yeah. So you set that, put it in neutral. You're gonna have to let out of the clutch a little bit because you're bound up on the transmission with the clutch brake. There you go. Okay, now push the Clutch, clutch back in. And you have to go all the way into the clutch brake to stop the transmission from spinning while you flip the PTO in. So clutch all the way to the floor clutch now. All the way to the floor, PTO. In. And now let off the clutch. And you feel it? Yep. So now give yourself some throttle with the cruise control. Okay, so cruise control goes on, and then just... The bottom side. I watched your video. Yeah. So I can hold it, or I can go like this. And maybe not. Tap the clutch and let off. Okay, I did something wrong. Slip your foot off the clutch pedal. Okay. Oh, you're on the brake I'm pedal, the that's brake. why. That's why, okay. There you go, okay. Let's go set this thing down. Hey, Ethan. Yeah. Why is this fender dented with red paint on it? Uh, couldn't be the Zach lift. Couldn't be. <laughs> we definitely weren't swinging this trailer no, back no, no, and no. forth. Hey, in my defense, I drove the Little Wrecker as fast as it would go the other day. Yeah, we were with like, you in it. We are like 40. Yeah. Okay. This was way harder than that whole thing. Well, I would hope. Yeah. All right. Come, where's your remote? Probably in the cab. Yep. Yeah, to be fair, he did drive the little record, which is a five-speed. He can run manual, no problem. Did that just fine. Truck is very different. Okay, so you need, if you try to turn this by hand right now, it's going to fight you like crazy because yes. look how separated those two winch points are. Yep. So if you boom up some and cable down, you're going to get some more, it's going to, you have more cable to work with to twist it and help you out. Okay, so boom up, cable down, bring this whole thing up. And then bring it down just above the ground with the cables. Okay, now we'll spin it. All right, do I need to go boom out at all? Uh, you are boom out. Oh, that's full out? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay, so let out on yellow, because we want to go that direction. Yep. Okay, in on blue. Okay, enough. Out on yellow. Okay, boom down. Boom down, and it locks it away. Okay, okay. so you can boom down and unhook, and then we can just grab it by hand and spin it the rest of the way straight. Yeah. Want to pull the truck forward out of the way so we have room to put all this? I think you should do that. Nope, you're doing it. Okay, fine. Then I'm going to bring these up. Oh, smack the crap out of your Boom up. Trailer. Boom up so that there's no way that's going to hook on anything when you pull forward and then it'll be fine. Sure. Like that. Yeah. Nothing like having to learn how to drive a semi uh, on camera. You know, no pressure at all while there's a trailer hanging from the boom behind you swinging back and forth. I don't, I don't get what the big deal is. What do you mean? Nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, so, it's first case. thing you do, get rid of the PTO and the throttle. Uh, not that. No? 
Okay. That, that can stay in all day long. That one doesn't matter. This okay. is the parking brake for the truck. That is just supplying air back there. Sure. So, so cruise control I can turn off. Yep. Uh, you can just, just like that. And now we want to go clutch in all the way to the floor to engage the trans brake. We got to get rid of something else first. Do I have to turn the PTL off first? Yes. Wait, I thought I had to turn the PTO off to dis or put the clutch in to dis disengage the PTO. No, PTO can just flip off. Okay. Now, to pull forward 10 feet and then use the PTO again, you don't really need to take it off. Sure. But it's a very good habit to get in to re remove that PTO every time you move the truck. Because you ever yeah. forget and take off somewhere, then you overspeed the PTO and you start cooking stuff. Gotcha. So PTO just habit is, is always pull just, PTO okay, off. Okay, cool. Especially so this dual pump custom PTO. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's not, a, not the cheapest thing it in the world. It was not. Uh, so nothing else, no clutch, no nothing? You don't just, need to, no. It'll disengage. Just like that. Yep. Cool. Now okay. you fully engage the clutch. Okay, now I fully engage the clutch. You have That's the clutch brake all the way in. Yep. And then... First gear. So we got the... Is that just... All the way over and down, we'll do it. That's in. Okay. okay. Release my parking brake. Better have your foot on that brake first. Well, I don't want to have any clutch brake. No, this no. is holding me right now. Brake so, pedal. Okay, brake pedal. Be on the brake pedal, then release that. Otherwise, the truck rolls away. I okay. should have manhandled that. Now, take your clutch brake away. Remember, you can be out of good ways and you're fine. Sure. Okay, now just pull up here. Right. Actually, pull all the way up there because that's where we're going to park. We are. We're underway. Mm -hmm. At a half a mile an hour. I know. Want to try, try shifting with no clutch? Uh, maybe. Probably give, not. Give it throttle. Give it throttle. Give, give it throttle. Do you want, do you throttle. want to hit your van trailer? Don't give a shit. Give it throttle. <laughs> I, I will win that another day. Okay. You and do your a whole do a whole series of teaching Ethan how to do new things. Okay. Now clutch, not, yep, only part way, yep. brake, neutral, set your brakes, now you can come off the clutch, off the brakes, cool. Okay, well, Zach List parked. We didn't, we didn't get to buy a Model T today, but we got to learn how to drive Model T's. Yep. Got to drive Model A. Yep. You got to learn how to run a heavy record, drive a truck. Yes. And we got the garbage loaded up to go to the dump in the morning, so. Oh, and I got springs in my cruiser. And we yeah, and we changed out the lead, the the springs in your Land Cruiser. Yeah, and it's still not as cool as the Jeep. No. Well, that's we got the, we got the Jeep. We got the Forerunner. <laughs> yeah. Shiny light, Michael. What would you guys choose? Would you choose the Jeep or would you choose the Forerunner? Which uh, one? I choose the Jeep. A uh, Jeep's pretty cool. Forerunners are are okay if you want to like go slow everywhere. Let your wife drive sometimes, but um. Well, no caller ID. That's the feds. Cascade Heavy Rescue. They hung up on me. They're tapping my phone for sure. Definitely the feds. Either way, the search for a Model T continues. Okay, well, this is the most random episode ever. We'll see you later. <laughs>